The question has been asked for years. Why do most towns in the Connecticut coastline, such as Groton, look like this, while Bridgeport, Connecticut looks like this? In order for us to answer that question, we're going to have to dive into some historical research and research scientific botany things. Driving along the road near Seaside Beach in Bridgeport, any New Englander will clearly notice the area looks very out of place, almost like a Caribbean town or something in Hawaii rather than the southern New England town of which it is. The flora and fauna, of course, being very tropical, the temperature hardly ever getting before 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists have concluded that Bridgeport is actually in the USDA plant zone 10. In turn, the USDA plant map lists Bridgeport, Connecticut as Zone 10. Some surrounding areas such as Fairfield, New Haven as Zone 9, and areas as far east as Stonington as Zone 8. Of course, the Zone 10 is quite evident once you get into the city limits. Grouper, dolphinfish, and spiny lobster are all caught in this part of the Long Island Sound, not to be seen anywhere else in the area. The first settlers moved into the area around 1644. The original settlement was called Pequinock. Botanist Orlando Woolcott surveyed the area in the mid-1640s. He wrote of tall tropical trees, abundance in tropical birds, and no freezes. He started a small sugarcane farm that later blossomed into a colonial industry. He died in 1702 and was buried in the local churchyard. By the late 1700s, many plants were being imported from other places, such as Canary Island palms, coconut trees, mango trees, and even copious amounts of citrus which would then be farmed on a commercial scale for over a hundred years. Many original plantings of some of the palms and other trees can be viewable in the historic sections in Bridgeport. The west side of the city in particular has a very robust historic area, consisting of many buildings from the colonial era and many plants planted around the same time. The rich tropical soil, of course, resulting in many tropical crops being farmed that couldn't be thought of in any other part of the state. The University of Bridgeport in particular has a vast number of tropical species growing in their botanical garden, ranging from palms, cycads, cacti, aloe, tropical hardwoods, tropical coniferous trees, and many, many other exotics. Many exotic animals can also be found, such as different types of iguanas and lizards, as well as many different species of exotic birds. Along with the many introduced palms, Bridgeport is also home to one native palm, the Sable Palmetto, making Connecticut the most northern state where it grows wild. Of course, the tropical imagery is noticeable all over town, with plants like the Mexican fan palm, royal palm, and even the Norfolk Island pine are found planted in abundance. Of course, Bridgeport is also one of the most popular spring break destinations, second only to South Padre Island, Texas. Interestingly enough, in recent years, the USDA zone map that puts Bridgeport as a zone 10 has been scrutinized by many. The scientific consensus has been very divided until recent years, and debates were very common. Some pushed for the idea that it should be considered Zone 7 because of the past Ice Age. Scientists successfully defended the USDA zone map simply by explaining that had the Ice Age logic been applied to all other states, every other state would be at a Zone 7 or lower. Not only is Bridgeport considered to be Zone 10, but some of the immediate surrounding areas like New Haven are considered to be a Zone 9. It's impossible not to notice the southern vibes when in the downtown region, especially near the old Trinity Church on the Green. The prestigious Yale University has many fine gardens famous for their live oaks laden with Spanish moss, palmetto trees, and various cycads. From Branford to Old Saybrook is Zone 8, and the temperature drop is noticeable. Not only are there many freezing nights, but there aren't as many palms, and those that are around are only of the hardier varieties. Once you cross the Baldwin Bridge from Old Saybrook into Old Lyme, it's Zone 7 and there's no palms anywhere to be seen. I hope you all enjoyed today's learning experience about the amazing climate, flora, and fauna of Bridgeport, Connecticut, the amazing science as to why Bridgeport is warmer than the majority of the country, and some cool history and geographical facts about Bridgeport and the surrounding areas too. I'm glad we had this learning experience together. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I hope you stay in tune for our next amazing, enjoyable learning video.